School Fairs, I'm Christopher Brown. This past weekend, municipal leaders from across Canada gathered in Calgary for their annual Federation of Canadian Municipalities Convention. And today, we are exploring a story of collaboration and innovation that promises to drive sustainable growth of four municipalities in the province of Saskatchewan. On June 8th, during the Federation of Canadian Municipalities Annual Convention, a landmark memorandum of understanding was signed. The pivotal agreement marks a formal partnership between EcoWest Canada, a subsidiary of the Association of Manitoba Bilingual Municipalities, or AMBM, and the Saskatchewan Urban Municipality Association, SUMA. Now representing AMBM was President Ivan Normandu who linked hands with Randy Golden, president of SUMA, to ink this critical partnership. The agreement sets the stage for unprecedented collaboration aimed at fostering sustainable economic development through environmentally responsible infrastructure and innovations in the province of Saskatchewan. One of the key outcomes of this partnership is the creation of the Municipal Eco Action Centre by SUMA, with supports from the Eco West Canada. This center will assist member municipalities in developing sustainable projects across various domains, including transportation, waste management, energy production and use, and capacity building. EcoWest Canada's expertise will also play a crucial role in helping SUMA prepare funding applications for green infrastructure and climate change adaptation, as well as achieving zero emission targets. Here is that entire news conference between EcoWest Canada and SUMA. SUMA is proud to announce a new partnership with EcoWest Canada. As we gather here in Calgary during the FCM conference, I will invite a few guests to the podium to share their perspective. I will begin with President Randy Golden from SUMA. President Ron Armando of EcoWest, and finally Danny Rabidou from EcoWest Canada. Once we have heard from our distinguished guests, I will invite Randy and Yvonne to meet me at the side desk here for uh, the official signature of the partnership agreement. But before I call Randy to the podium, I wish to take this opportunity to thank EcoWest Canada staff. I think most of them are here, specifically Danny, uh, Gabby, Shane, Michelle, and my uh, SUMA colleagues, uh, Sean McKenzie, Augustina Ossesari, Mason Stott, for the work that they put in to bring this uh, partnership agreement to fruition. Uh, it, was, uh, it wasn't tough work, but it was just, you know, back and forth a bit and getting us to the right place. And um, it's, it's incredibly gratifying when two organizations dedicated to the municipal sector come together to, for the benefit of municipalities and their citizens. This agreement is the latest example of SUMA's commitment to assisting its members and the general municipal sector. There will be more announcements coming soon, and I look forward to witnessing the future of this partnership as it grows. So without further ado, I'd like to invite President Randy Golden to the podium. Well, uh, good afternoon, everyone. And I know everyone is interested, but after the first uh, quarter, the writers are up seven to four already. Go <laughs> 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 <So>. Oilers. <laughs> and uh, that's the first uh, important game today. So, boy, go Oilers uh, uh, later on tonight. Uh, hello, everybody. Boy, is it ever good to see everybody uh, from all our sister organizations. It is, it is really thrilling to. Uh, get together and have these conversations and have the networking opportunities. So really, really good to see everybody. And uh, today, uh, as I stand in front of you um, in Calgary um, at this wonderful FCM uh, convention conference, uh, in the spirit of reconciliation, I want to recognize that we are on Treaty 7 territory. I would also like to acknowledge Treaty 4 territory and the homeland of the Métis and Regina where our SUMA office has the privilege of being located. And treaty lands 2, 5, 6, 8, and 10, where all our other SUMA members reside. Today, SUMA and every day, SUMA pays its respects to the First Nations and Métis people of these territories. I invite you to take a moment privately to acknowledge both the land on which you reside and the land on which we're gathering today. As municipal leaders, you're aware of the issues we face regarding funding and infrastructure. 
And I need to remind you that while municipalities are responsible for over 60% of infrastructure, we work with less funding each year to build and maintain the infrastructure we provide. As mayors, councillors, administrators, and organizations representing municipalities, we work tirelessly to build stronger communities. We strive to ensure that every <coughs> resident and future generation can continue calling our municipalities home, a safe place to live, work, and play. But funding isn't the only challenge that we face at our work. Climate change is happening, <coughs> whether we care to accept it or not, and it is scientifically undeniable. In Saskatchewan, we've been seeing the effects of climate change for some time. With droughts, changes to our wetlands and grasslands, harsher storms and milder winters. As weather her patterns continue to shift and our communities encounter problems they have previously not seen, we need to learn to adapt and navigate these issues using knowledge and scientifically based research methods. It is, only, it is the only way to build resilient communities, to face any manner of change that we know is coming. So today, SUMA is pleased to formally announce our new partnership with EcoWest Canada, which will assist us in creating Saskatchewan's first municipal eco-action centre. And we've been advocating for that for many years. We aim for this centre to become the hub that Saskatchewan <coughs> municipalities turn to for guidance on adaptive climate strategies and proactive measures to help build climate resilience Climate adaptation can look slightly different to every hometown, but shifting and sharing our collective knowledge can save time and it can save effort. This hub is an important step towards sustainable ways for our communities to adapt to these needs. Through the Municipal Eco Action Climate Center, Saskatchewan's municipalities will have a knowledge base to help them develop renewable energy sources, reduce carbon emissions, carbon emissions, and build infrastructure that withstands, it withstands and adapts to the changing needs of the environment and our communities. Standing here in Calgary, I also want to recognize and thank the Alberta Municipal Climate Change Action Center operating out of our sister association, Alberta Municipalities. Tyler, our thanks for all the work and cooperation. You have served as inspiration and a guide for our own efforts in developing the structural support to guide our members and how they can contribute to a greener <coughs> future in Saskatchewan. I thank all the municipal government bodies here today who are taking steps toward building climate resistant and resilient communities on behalf of SUMA and all our board members and members that are here today. We all strive towards the same goals so let's work on them together. I look forward to the discussions we'll have today. So thank you very much on behalf of SUMA. We look forward to working towards a sustainable future with everyone here today. Thank you. My wife tells me I do everything backwards. So now that Randy has spoken, Randy was first elected as Yorkton City Council in 1987. <laughs> she has served on all council committees and commission and has been very active with, within the municipal government, provincially with SUMA and nationally and internationally through FCM. And Randy was elected president of the association in 2022. On that, let's go back to the original schedule that I have. <laughs> Thank you, Randy. Um, our next speaker is Yvonne Armando. Uh, Yvonne has been a councillor for the rural municipality of La Boquerie since 2014 and was recently elected Reeve of the municipality in 2022. Yvonne has over 25 years of experience in Manitoba's financial and commercial sector. He's also the president of the Association des Municipalités Villains Manitoba and of Eco West Canada. Je veux féliciter la FCM de nous offrir cette année à Fort un congrès annuel des salons professionnels de très grande qualité et pertinente. Un congrès qui rejoint nos enjeux 
nos préoccupations et nos aspirations en plus de nous offrir l'excellente occasion de réseautage. Today, I'm honored to join my colleague Randy Bolden uh, of the SUMA in announcing the new Green Economy Partnership between SUMA and ECOWAS Canada. <coughs> As part of this partnership, I'm equally pleased that <coughs> Yama Nadeau, the CEO of SUMA, has been appointed to the AMBM Board of Directors as the newest member of the Board of Directors. The aim of this partnership is to help SUMA members and staff succeed in their energy transition as well as transition to greener, more sustainable infrastructure. <coughs> ECOWAS Canada has been created in 16 years by the dirigeant of the Bilingue du Manitoba. Its mandate has always been to promote and to support the development economic growth durable in the Canadian Canada by the implementation and the creation of infrastructure. Initially, when Lion Bam was founded, when Lion Bam founded ECOWAS, our vision was to create a non profit entity to, to serve small and medium sized municipalities all across Canada. From this outset, this was an entity that would already have a clear understanding of municipal issues and operations and with local governments could identify. One that would hit the ground running as it were. This new agreement with SUMA recognizes added value of ECOWAS Canada in providing pragmatic support to municipalities for concrete success, successful transition to more sustainable state of affairs in energy transportation. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate SUMA on the launch of the Municipal Echo Center, Echo Action Center, with the support of Echo West Canada. This new center, similar to, similar to the successful entity already in existence in Alberta, will support its members and municipalities in their sustainable green and infrastructure projects. In this context, Echo West Canada will provide its expertise and support services in the preparation and funding applications for green projects to the FCM and other funding entities, as well as for municipal adaptation to climate change and achievement of zero emission targets as have been established by all three orders of government. As such, one of Echo West Canada's fundamental assets is its expertise and ex is its expert experience and expertise in mobilizing the other two orders of government to set up multi-partner funding arrangements. Over the years, ECOWAS Canada has helped create impressive, multiplying, leverage effects for the funding of numerous municipal projects in the prairies. <laughs> I want to emphasize that the FCM has always been and will continue to be a key partner in funding green initiatives coordinated by ECOWAS Canada thanks to the financial support of Government of Canada. I hope that this collaboration will grow through a partnership with SUMA, a message that the FCM will be hearing from us soon. As you can see, ECOWAS Canada is growing and we're more open than ever to discussing partnership with municipal associations in, in other provinces. Thank you for joining us here today for this landmark event and enjoy the rest of the conference. Merci de nous avoir écouté et bonne conférence. Um, last but not least, I'd like to invite to the podium Danny Robidoux, uh, CEO of EcoWest, to offer you a few remarks. I've known Danny for about, what, 15 years now, just about. Uh, Danny brings with him more than about, and I've changed your speech in your uh, bio, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> just just you guys. <laughs> Sorry, Aaron, where are you? <laughs> um, Danny brings more than 15 years of experience and passion for the green economy and a network of relationships across all three levels of government. With a background in economics, Danny is particularly interested in applying a circular economy lens to understand and address sustainability issues. And that's really where I uh, have a lot of uh, time and, and, uh, and friendship with Danny because we talk about this all the time. So um, He works with businesses, community-based organizations in all three levels of government to create action plans aimed at building widespread commitment towards sustainable development in multi uh, in municipalities across uh, Canada. So, Danny, the floor is yours, my friend. Thanks for those kind of words, Java. But it's um, it's not all me. It's it, there's a team behind yeah, it that makes it happen. Know, so, there needs to be a leader, right? Yeah. <laughs> but it, it, uh, we've got a good team at Eco West, and I think it 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 shows in the work and the good work that we do. So. 
Hello again, everyone, and, and greetings, uh, colleagues, uh, friends, members of SUMA, FCM, AMM, municipal leaders. Um, and th thanks for joining us today on this momentous occasion. Again, my name is Danny Adobidu, and I'm the Executive Director of EcoWest Canada. Uh, as Ivan and, and Randy have both stated, uh, it's a great pleasure to, to be here in Calgary at this year's FCM Annual Conference uh, to announce this new partnership with SUMA and EcoWest. Uh, since its beginnings, EcoWest Canada has acted as a strong proponent of the FCM, working closely with, with Canadian municipalities in developing their sustainability initiatives in a way that ensures that they will fully benefit from the financial support that is available to them through the FCM and other funders as well. Consequently, being given the opportunity to announce this partnership here in the presence of so many long-time FCM friends that we've made at, at various uh, conferences, um, it, it's somewhat of the icing on the cake for us. En tant qu'agence de développement économique et environnemental, nous sommes fiers d'être parmi un très petit nombre d'organisations, si pas la seule organisation du genre, dans l'Ouest canadien, œuvrant dans les deux langues officielles. Et donc, en ce sens, cela me fait grandement plaisir de pouvoir élargir notre offre de services en français afin d'inclure aussi les communautés de langue officielle en situation minoritaire sont aussi membres de, de la SUMA. So from the beginning, our work in Saskatchewan has focused on establishing the foundation for a pragmatic approach to the, to the development and implementation uh, for municipalities uh, of their green, green initiatives, as was done since 2008 in Manitoba. With the development of municipal climate action plans and greenhouse gas emissions inventories, we've been able to leverage the, these foundational pieces to assist SUMA members in the past in accessing funding for more in order to move the yardsticks forward and in, uh, in the implementation of a variety of initiatives in the areas of transportation, energy efficient buildings, and climate adaptation training and workshops for local SMEs. Through this work, as well as through our continued engagement with Saskatchewan stakeholders, we've been able to determine that Saskatchewan municipalities, their leadership, their residents, are pretty much very much like the rest of their counterparts throughout the country. Uh, and that in, the, in a few following ways. One, they're all proud and I want their communities to thrive. Two, the, many of them are not very large and therefore often need some additional resources and support to address their climate change and sustainability infrastructure <coughs> needs. And finally, those infrastructure needs are just the same as everyone else's. However, the scale and scope of the solutions being the only noticeable difference. As such, this new partnership that we have, that we are here to, to sign off on with, with SUMA, uh, we are extremely pleased to bring our experience and our network of connections, like the, the Municipal Climate Change Action Centre in, in Alberta, um, to help them develop their initiatives, access funding for planning and feasibility studies that are required to ensure that eventually capital funding will be used in its most efficient way to meet the community's growing needs. Through the establishment of the Municipal Eco Action Centre, this new partnership with SUMA will allow us to accomplish even greater things together. Trust is a, is a crucial and critical uh, aspect uh, of the work that we do with municipalities on a daily basis. Being able to relate to the realities faced by small prairie communities and municipalities is also key to developing green initiatives that meet municipal needs, whether the projects are local or regional in nature. With a focus on sustainable values and the, at the core of all our present and future activities, and with the addition of our, our friend Jean-Marc uh, to our board of directors, rest assured that we will be doing everything in our power to ensure that uh, a promising tomorrow for all Saskatchewan municipalities as they strive to, to move to, uh, forward along the path to redefining their futures. Je termine en exprimant un sincère remerciement à la Fédération canadienne des municipalités et à vous tous d'avoir été parmi nous aujourd'hui euh, lors de cet événement marquant pour la SUMA ainsi que pour les municipalités de la Saskatchewan et des Coast Canada. So thank you very much everyone for being here today and for joining us during this conference. SUMA President Randy Golden believes that this MOU is a great step forward for municipalities in the province. We chatted with President Golden moments after the announcement and the signing of this MOU.
Yep, you're behind Eco West. Yeah. I'm behind Suma. Okay. President Golden, uh, announcement between you, partnership and MOU between yourself and Eco West Canada. What's this all about and how did we get here to signing here in Calgary, Alberta? Well, SUMA has been working on a climate action center uh, for the past five or six years. This has been something that we feel can really help the members of SUMA. So uh, as we did that, uh, we uh, became aware of what uh, uh, Alberta municipalities were doing and we thought it's successful there, we can try it in Saskatchewan. And what's the first task now? Now that the Memorandum of Understanding is signed, what do you do as president to go back to try to implement this next stage? Well, it's bringing forward uh, best practices, um, you know, what municipalities can do to be resilient, sustainable. So now, right now, we would also be looking for some funding packages so we could perhaps find, um, you know, some help for our municipalities. So we're, um, you know, we're on the mark, get set, go for that. Perfect time to launch that type of request from the provincial government with an election coming up. Have you had conversations prior to the MOU being signed with any of the parties to talk about environmental sustainability and where the provinces is going to help with municipalities work on this climate adaptation? Well, we're very fortunate in the province of Saskatchewan. We meet regularly with the ministers and we've been meeting regularly with the Minister of Environment. Uh, we've had these discussions uh, and I think that uh, this MOU and the opportunity now that they have to be part of this, I'm really looking forward to having some positive results with them. Now, what is it about Eco West Canada that you really thought, okay, this is the company that we want to go with. This is our this is our true partner in this new adventure. We've been seeing some real success stories coming out of Manitoba and other provinces too. Uh, and uh, we thought, uh, why not Saskatchewan? Uh, we've got some great members, some great people that are looking to become even more resilient. They're working hard on that and it's a challenge, uh, especially as, as we heard, uh, municipalities don't have a lot of staff. Uh, they may not have the capacity to do this. So uh, it's at SUMA, again, continuing uh, to help our municipalities. What do you want your members to know about this new MOU? Because this is brand new. I'm assuming you're going to go back tomorrow morning. There's going to be a press release or Monday morning. What's the key takeaway that you're hoping that people will take away from this? I, the key takeaway is we really want to talk with our members about this. Um, you know, don't sit back. Uh, we know we have a municipal election, a provincial election this fall. It's going to be busy, uh, but we still have some time before all of that. So let's talk about that. Let's hear about your community. Um, I know I'm uh, SUMA president, but I'm also councillor city of Yorkton. I'm going to be talking with our administration and my council as soon as we have our first meeting. Randy, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure, Chris. Thank you. Over the years, EcoWest Canada has successfully mobilized funding and created impressive leverage effects for municipal projects in Manitoba. Now, this expertise will be extended to benefit SUMA and its members. Looking ahead, EcoWest Canada aims to forge new partnerships with municipal associations across Canada, continuing its mission to promote municipal prosperity and sustainable economic development. Now, we chatted with Danny Robadu. Executive Director of Eco West Canada after the announcement about what this means for SUMA members and municipalities in the province of Saskatchewan. Eco West Canada and SUMA have now signed an MOU. What does this mean for Eco West into Saskatchewan now? Well, I think for us, we've been in Saskatchewan for a while already, uh, but really to be able to partner with SUMA means that it, I think it, it provides trust to the municipalities that are here that we are a legitimate entity that, that they can trust, uh, that we're here to help them, uh, and that we have their best interest in, uh, in, in heart. Now I've got to ask the million dollar question, but help with what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the work that we do with municipalities is really, it, it's, it's, there's, it's, it's a process, right? So we help them identify the, where their opportunities are and what their needs are in terms of greening their infrastructure, greening their operations. Based on that, then we did define a roadmap as to how we can help them uh, achieve some of their targets, uh, ideally in, a, in such a way that it'll uh, not only help them reduce their, their environmental footprint, but also make them operationally a bit more sustainable. Um, so really, we're, we try to help them identify funding sources in order to, to be able to for them to be able to implement the, uh, their, their initiatives, as well as the leading up to the implementation is the, the studying and the planning for, for those initiatives. So there's a lot of funding that's out there. Um, the challenge oftentimes with smaller municipalities is, is the capacity to, to be able to access that funding on their own. So we're here as a capacity enabler for municipalities uh, 
for them to be able to get the funding that they need to, to move move some of their work forward. Um, and I think the other component too is knowing that in, in Saskatchewan, like in, in other regions of the prairies, the, the communities are smaller. So for a business case to work on, on any initiative, oftentimes it also requires re a regional collaboration. So we, we do a lot of regional work uh, in Manitoba and, and already, and, and now it's bringing some of that expertise and that know-how here into Saskatchewan and, and making sure that we can all play nice in the sandbox when, when developing projects. You talk about smaller communities, and Saskatchewan is relatively known for having lots of smaller communities. Will you work with the most northern municipality to the southern? Any member that SUMA has, will you be contacting them, or will SUMA be working with you to contact them? Yeah, so we're, right now we're working on a strategy to, to reach out to all, the munis all uh, SUMA's member municipalities try to get an idea as to what their needs are, where they're situated in their in their transition to, to more uh, net zero type communities, uh, what, where, the, where are the pain points, right? What, what are their priority initiatives that, that they're looking at, uh, at, at developing and, and, and implementing? Uh, once that work will be done, it'll give us a better idea as to what the lay of the land is um, and also figure out how best to approach the next steps of engaging with them uh, so that they can be well served and, and we can properly address their needs uh, and access the funding that they, that they need in order to deliver services to their to their communities. Still early days, but what are you hearing? What is the issues that you're hearing from them? Is it just the lack of potential resources that they have because of their smaller communities? Or is there a particular thing that you're hearing from mayors, Reeves, even administration, about the concerns that they have about tra that transition? I think the the, the issues are, or the, the, that they've got that and that we're hearing is similar across the board as um, issues with waste waste management issues with uh, building efficiency and, and energy and sustainable energy uh, access, access to sustainable energy and then it's economic development as well so I think the prairies offer an interesting opportunity for the development of new renewable uh, technologies that that could benefit the entirety the, the, the entirety of the, of the nation um, we, you know, solar solar farms aren't in urban areas. They're typically going to be located in rural settings. Um, biomass grows in a rural setting. So, how do we maximize the, the advantages of of, of rural uh, to the benefit of the communities? Um, I think Saskatchewan's well poised in order to be able to play a significant role in this transition to a, to a green economy. Um, but it's just making sure that we we take the politics a bit more out of it, and we just look at the pragmatic approach and and what the benefits are, and how how do we actually develop a roadmap to to act to achieve those those benefits collectively. So, final question: What's the one takeaway that you're hoping that members of SUMA will take away from this new partnership with Eco West Canada? Well, I think the one takeaway is that we're here now. We're we've we've partnered up with SUMA, and we're ready to to roll our sleeves up and and start working in Saskatchewan. And we're very much looking forward to meeting all of them. Now, before we let you go, I just want to take a moment and say thank you to the Federation of Canadian Municipalities for allowing us to attend the four-day convention here in Calgary. This episode would not have been possible without their support. Now, today's episode did spark your interest. Hit that subscribe button now. Stay in the loop with all our diverse content covering everything from municipal affairs from across this great country. We are your go-to platform for comprehensive municipal coverage committed to keeping you well-informed as well as engaged. But your support is the backbone of our growth and the maintenance of this top-notch content you have come to enjoy. If you can, consider backing the show. Every contribution, big or small, amplifies the depth and the breadth of our programming. Find the support page link on the Cross Border Interviews website today. Until next time, stay informed, stay engaged, and most importantly, and as always, just keep talking.